that have been taking to the streets in a worldwide rally against genetically modified food giant Monsanto. The protesters claim the GM crops it produces could be harmful to humans. Hundreds of cities across more than 60 countries have been taking part in the march. RT's Peter Oliver is in Berlin. Demonstrators all around the world, not just here in Germany, coming out to say no to genetically modified foods. Uh, people saying that they don't know the dangers that it could pose, that they um, that they they aren't right for human consumption. And to find out why people are demonstrating against GM foods, I'm joined by a few guests right now. First of all, Heidi Osterman, who's the founder of the True Food Foundation. Heidi, thanks very much. Uh, Monsanto said that they were pulling out of Europe. Apparently that's not the case though, is it? Well, Peter, it does appear that they're pulling out, but they're just regrouping in North America. And I think they're going to sneak through the back door using the new European North America trade agreement. There's going to be a low level presence that's introduced. So in the past, maybe 1% GMO would be acceptable to your government to import our Canadian crops or our North American crops. It'll be raised to 2% and 3% and 4% as more and more crops become contaminated with GMOs. It's very hard to contain. So Europe will be receiving these products and what's more frightening and most Germans don't know is that there is a smart stacks corn that Monsanto has made and this is the most uh, evolved technology ever and it's not tested whatsoever it is a corn that resists six different types of herbicides so you can spray it with six different chemicals and it won't die and it also produces two insecticides in its own kernels that you can't wash that off so I don't even know if technically that's food in my mind as a nutritionist that that's no longer food well, just what those chemicals are doing to us is still something that we, we don't really know. And I'm joined by another guest now to talk a little bit more about that. I'm joined by uh, Dr. Dieter uh, v uh, Witter. Thank you That's very much. correct, yeah. Um, what could be the potential hazards of GM food? Genetically modified foods have been on the market for about 15 years now. And uh, only last year we've seen the first long-term animal study from France, and I have the pictures here yeah, out of the you, scientific... We're just going to bring the camera down here a little bit. So what, what is it that you're showing us here? We're showing the rats that were fed these, uh, the, the corn that is genetically modified for their lifetime. All animal studies until then have been for 90 days only, and usually not much shows in those 90 days, even though there are subtle uh, signs of organ damage even in 90 days. But in two years, uh, the life... life time of a, a rat is shortened. Uh, they have massive organ damage, massive breast tumors in the female rats. And um, the humans, the effects will only not show for another 20 years because uh, we have a much longer lifespan than a rat. So if we are waiting for cancer to show as a result of GMOs, we got to wait. Thank you very much. A huge issue. And what we're seeing here in Berlin, as well as around the world, is people coming out and saying no to genetically modified foods. But while activists are protesting against the use of potentially harmful chemicals in food production, Monsanto has been saying its products are the only way to feed the world's growing population. Artie's Marina Portnaya takes a closer look. In the land of supersize, approximately 85% of all processed foods contain genetically modified organisms. GMO is an acronym that owes its notoriety largely to the agriculture giant Monsanto. A multinational billion dollar corporation generating global criticism revolving around the safety of its products and growing monopoly over the world's food supply. They're able to patent the genetically modified seeds with a very strong patent so farmers can only lease the seeds from Monsanto each year and they can't save the seeds. Researchers have documented dozens of health risks associated with the consumption of modified foods and the majority of Americans have campaigned for GMO foods to be labeled just like these organic fruits are labeled. But so far, the will of the people has been silenced by the money of Monsanto. According to OpenSecrets.org, the company spent nearly $6 million last year lobbying federal lawmakers and food regulators. The payoff came this year with the passing of the so-called Monsanto Protection Act, a bill that gives biotech companies immunity from lawsuits pertaining to the production and sale of genetically modified seeds. The new reality of the world is that chemical companies are feeding us and our families. It's now sort of laboratory to table rather than farm to table. And in an effort to widen its power and profit, the agriculture giant has recently purchased a corporation which sells climate data to 
farmers. The price tag of $930 million wasn't a problem for Monsanto, which grossed a reported $13.5 billion in revenue last year. But decades before GMOs and fears about modified foods came along, Monsanto was already in business. It helped bring pesticides, Agent Orange, and Terminator seeds to the market. Agent Orange was used by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War, where it's estimated to have killed hundreds of thousands of people. Its effects are still being felt today. Vietnam says some half a million children have suffered birth defects due to herbicide. Monsanto's current practice Practices have ignited protests around the globe. Millions are taking to the streets, demanding that big food comes clean by either labeling genetically engineered products or not selling them at all. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York. And Colin O'Neill, he's from the Center for Food Safety in the U.S., claims giant corporations like Monsanto pressure governments worldwide to get their products on the market. These marches are raising awareness about the issue and, and bringing awareness not only about Monsanto and its influence in agriculture, but also other chemical companies that have uh, become uh, major agribusiness influences on Capitol Hill. I think you, we see uh, an overwhelming influence in uh, governments and, uh, and that really has to do with money, that these are major chemical companies, uh, the top, uh, I mean, 53 uh, per, over 53 percent of, of seeds uh, are owned by just a handful of these major agribusiness chemical companies. So they exert tremendous influence in politics and have millions upon millions of dollars to spend to ensure that their products get sped through reviews uh, and also to ensure that consumers are not informed about what the products they are eating. Uh, so for instance, not labeling genetically engineered foods. And we've got live updates on the global action against Monsanto online at rt.com, where there's also more opinion and analysis waiting for you. This is RT.